Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Austria, where we are back here with another episode of Austinus, and today, guys, is the days after I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out, and I could get I could go into an entire video about that entire experience and my entire view on it, but um, the short answer is is that it went fine. Uh, I have no problems, no like issues or anything like that. It was completely painless and. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get back in this. I really can't believe I'm back in this. Um, if I do, but I will have to mention this, that since I do have to have my wisdom teeth pulled out, that means I'm not going to be sounding quite right for a little bit, which means I can't talk as my usual enthusiastic self. So if you guys do notice if I'm being a little bit more reserved and kind of laid back, that's the reason. It's not because I'm being a boring person. It's because I literally don't think I can be, yeah. So, anyways, we're back here in our lovely Austrian campaign where I am thinking about what is our next move because I've literally figured it out we have less than 29 years left in this game and we need to do a lot of things. Like, we need to take over the Yugoslavian region, finally take back the Bosnian region from the stupid Yugoslavians, and then we also need to... Because apparently Yugoslavia is Yugoslavia, and we hate them. And we also need to uh, exact revenge on three different nations specifically France, Russia, and Germany. Um, and I guess to a lesser extent Italy too, but we already took what we needed from them. But if we really want to, we can also exactly bend out to all of them too, so... Yeah, we have a very thick schedule to fill. Plus, you know, maybe I want to take some land from China too. So, you know, all these things accumulating into a 29 year span, which we really need to start thinking of. So... Um, basically what I thought of it is that as much as I love being a lone wolf right now and like taking on everyone as with the United States helping, quote unquote helping, I think I need a more powerful ally and I think the most powerful ally to get would be Germany. Because what I'm going to do is I want to, as I said, I want to get my Bosnian reason from Yugoslavia. But Yugoslavia is allied with the Russians who are allied with a bunch of other powerful people. So. What we need to do is kind of create this kind of chain reaction where I take over Bosnia. And this this sounds like the. By the way, if you don't know this, this is actually sounding drastically like the First World War and how this all started. But I'm going to take the first Bosnian region, and then Russia's going to declare war on me. I'm going to ask the Germans to join in to declare war on the and the Russians, and we're just going to go destroy Russia. And from that, I'm also going to ask the uh, Germans to also free Ukraine right here. That way we get two powers for the price of one, and at the most it should take about roughly 13 infamy if I'm guessing correctly. So yeah, it won't be that bad. Plus, I've been thinking about this, and I hate to admit it when I'm wrong, but I think actually conquering Persia was a terrible idea. It, it, it honestly didn't really provide much for us, and it's honestly been more of a hazard than anything. So what I think I might do is that if our infamy does get too high, I'm actually going to release them. I've never done that before in any of my campaigns. And granted, I never will. Ooh. Yeah. Just had to make sure it still gives about the same amount of infamy, but yeah. Or we're going to release one of these little tiny estates. Either way, we're going to do, we're going to be releasing little tiny states that are deemed Alexandria. What? I, I don't know what country that is, but that seems like a cool country. Anyways, so yeah, after that long intro, let's finally begin the game. We have a couple of factories collapsing. Conveniently, they're all my printing presses, and I swear to God, they have nothing to do with the fact that I am a tyrannical dictator, and I don't want my people to know anything about the government. It is totally not that. I Those factories are collapsing on their own will. Okay, and it seems like somebody... Cuba is apparently now in my sphere of influence, which is... Weird. Okay, just sure. Let's increase relationships with Cuba. I don't really care about Cuba, but let's increase relationships with Cuba because maybe they will pay in handy at some point. So, yeah, what we have to start doing though, like I said earlier, is we have to start increasing relationships with our good friends, the Germans. So let's see. Germans are en route between there. Okay, we can get to May twelfth the next time. Uh, what we should also start doing is start doing a quiet state on the Yugoslavia. So we have this all figured out. Um, another thing that I was thinking about doing 
is that now since we have a pretty good industrial base in our African colonies, I mean a really good industrial base, I think it's finally time for the African colonies to start taking a part in all of our, like, conquests per se. And so what I'm going to start doing is actually making um, specifically, specific armies for the African people, basically. Um, now the other problem is that I can't remember exactly where all these provinces are because they really... I'm not that good with geology, <laughs> at least to this now, uh, microscopic level. So what I might have to do is I actually might have to go in individually off screen and look at all this. But yeah, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Uh, yeah, like right here, I did not realize. I get like three hussiers to count. Actually, just give me like two hussiers. I'm only building a tiny army. Uh, begin assimilating, yes. We must assimilate. Our country must assimilate. If our country was actually united in a prior in the primary goals, our country would be way better. And yes, I can still enact a Dubarian Federation, and um, people might be wanting me to do that because this is kind of what the series looks like. I have a Dubarian, a Dan Dubarian flag up on as my thumbnail, but as I said before, it it seems kind of useless at this point in the game because I almost have all the cultures accepted. I mean, really, the only cultures I really do need accepted are the Polish, which are right over here, uh, the Serbians, and the Northern Northern Italians. But I highly doubt the Northern Italians will ever accept Austrian rule. I don't know. It feels like just a rule of thumb. It, it just feels like that. So we're not going to worry about that. Anyways, let's get, keep increasing relationships with them. I cannot forget to increase relationships with Germany because Germany, very important state to have. As much as I hate them and I want to break them up again for all the stupid things they've done to me over the years, we still need them as an ally. So, put grudges beside, let bygones be bygones, at least for now. Because I need them to go co conquer the world. The world of uh, integrating. Yay! Yay! I love that event. I love when something integrates. Because that means it makes the less work for me. Because then I don't have to do much. Okay, so let's see. We got some fertilizer companies. Oh no! The SS Vienna explodes? Okay, so I gain a... Uh, lose the steam convoy. Gain a... Cause us belly. Relationships go down. Okay. More in favor. Steam... I still lose a convoy. I gain militancy and I lose... Prestige. Screw it. We're gonna screw France. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a convoy. I'm gonna try to take one of your colonies too. Even though if I was gonna take a colony, I would take an entire chunk and not just a little bit. But I digress. So, yeah, now we're just gonna make sure that we're now in positive relationships with our good friends, the uh, Germans. And I'm gonna start moving my troops to the borders. So I wanna make sure that if we are gonna do this part of the war, it has to go really quickly because we're gonna have to quickly turn around and start fighting the mighty Russians. Because Russia is an insanely annoying state to fight. Just because of how big it is. It's not really because it's really a threat per se. It's just because it's so big and it's manpower is so annoying. Like, oh man. Speaking of which, I might as well see. How is the... Ledger wise, how am I doing? Uh, total score, prestige, brigades. Let's see. Uh, the, the person who has the most brigade... Holy moly. Uh, Russia, United States, France, Germany. So... Comparatively, we have almost 60 less brigades than almost everyone else. Uh, don't deny that's true. And then a couple of different factories. The person who has the most factories is all these people. Yeah, I was expecting something like this. That's mostly because my people haven't really let me build up factories and life support and stuff like that. Like, seriously. I've, I've really wanted to like build up more factories, but apparently they just they're like, yeah, we don't we don't actually need factories. We don't actually want any of it. And it's like uh, you guys need it. Don't be an idiot. Okay, so I built nine, so four, five. Build it all right there. Hussiers, and then uh, this Asia or there's Europe. Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're actually getting to the age where I'm actually going to have to discount two of these guys. One, two. So we can build two more light guards. Our first light guards in the entire army. First time we've ever built these things. <laughs> and Yugoslavia must be like, hey guys, why are you lining your troops up on my border? 
that looks awfully conspicuous or suspicious. I'm just like, whatever do you mean? We are totally not arming to go to war here very soon and going to backstab you as soon as possible. Also, apparently I forgot to upgrade this. Probably because of all the occupations that happened when we had the uh, purge by the uh, British. When we purged the British out of our lands. Um, let's see, is there any other people that need to be upgraded? I swear, it was like one place, there it is. Alright, and right over here, let's go see. So this will probably be the army that guards Ethiopia. Because we need an army that guards Ethiopia, honestly. Let, let's be real here, we need an army that guards Ethiopia. Ethiopia is like, a great land to guard. So let's guard Ethiopia, then we also have some land over here. And then we have our Persia. <laughs> Who, I really should say I care about, but... It's more the fact that it's there. Oh, plus if we're going to be defending... If we're going to be defending land, we're probably going to need to defend this land over here from the uh, Russians. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to go pick up these soldiers down here. Oh, and I can't go into 5 speed because it's... You guys can't see it very well. So let's slow down. Let's go pick up these soldiers right over here. Wow, these, these guys are... The world is such jerks to the Chinese. I mean, seriously, you guys just keep stealing more and more ports from me. It's not even worth it, really, I believe. One port is not going to make much of a difference in this game. So, but we're going to steal these guys, take them on the boats, and we're going to go put them over here. Because mainly the fighting is going to be happening in Chochan. Chochan's a really... Wow, that's a really good defensive spot. Desert Mountain, just a really good spot to fight and a really good place to fight up. So... That's going to be good. Um, let's see. We need the Germans to be on our side. Germans are now going to accept that. Get them on our side. They accepted peace. All right. Yugoslavia. Now, this is all going. This could all potentially backfire if they don't join in. But we need Southern Serbia. Wait. Are you telling me that... Oh, gosh dang it. They made the capital this. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well then, I'm just going to take the one with the more better roots. Okay, so it's most likely the Montenegro. Montenegro seems way better of a place. Guys, dang it. Yugo you, Yugoslavia, you guys ruin my plans every single time. This is why I always like to destroy you. So let's see. Um, does my German allies join in? I don't really care about the United States, but I need the Germans to join in. So, here's hoping that the Germans join in. If not, we're going to have a very tough... Time. So what I might actually do is mobilize right now, get a little bit, I'll actually get like a week into mobilization before I completely do this, okay? Now, now that we're a little bit into mobilization, I should be much more equipped than everyone else. Call in everyone. Let's go! Okay, let's see. Do the Germans join in? Oh no. Treacherous. Treacherous. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's fine, it's fine that Spain didn't join in or any of these guys because they're in my sphere, so I don't really care. If America doesn't join in, that's fine. America's been in this hot and cold relationship with me this entire game, so it's like nothing unexpected. But yeah, with the Germans now on my side, I actually don't need to mobilize. Because the Germans are basically going to take care of... Are basically going to take care of our good friends, the uh, Russians, for me. Because without having a double-edged sword or a double-edged front like with France, they can just focus all the military onto Russia, which usually destroys them in the end. And since I have like a ton of allies over here, I don't really need to focus too much on it. Alright, and then you guys go right here. Another problem is that I might forget where my uh, uh, army is, and that might kill me. Okay, and I'm not sure, am I still the leader of this war? Because I would love to call you back in, you useless out. You join it. You better join in. Wow, you are the tr you Spain are a sneaky little guy. Seriously, you guys are trustworthy to no one. And as you guys can see, the, Ru the, the Germans by themselves can easily defeat Russia. It's just when you start adding forms into it that we start having difficulties. Hey, wait. Hey guys, don't be idiots and make sure you guys attack in a good proper way. I'm just helping you destroy Yugoslavia first just so we can get this out of the way because I know this is going to tie up a lot of my men if I just don't deal with this first. So let's deal with this. Get this all conquered. Destroy all what we need to destroy. Okay, you guys group up right here. And let's see, yeah. You see, the Germans are instantly... They're already mobilizing. Good Germans. 
You good, you good Germans. You guys know what to do. You guys have been in war for a long time. You guys know what to do. So, I don't really have to fight too much. You guys are the... Spain, you guys are going to aggravate me, but I'm just going to keep calling you into this. Just be until you... I'm just going to keep calling you guys into this until you guys say yes. Because you honestly should be in it. You have really no reason not to be in it. Okay? Yeah, you know, you're going to come into this. If not, I'm just going to keep calling you in and we're going to keep going through this cycle. Because you guys are coming in this, whether you like it or not. And if you don't come in it, I'm going to remember that. And when something attacks you, because I'm your defender... Oh, gosh, no. Let me guess. Let me guess. This is this is the... the yep, yep. Figures, the French took the opportunity to backstab the Germans while they were looking and destroying their mighty friends. The, uh... Hmm. You know, I could actually turn down this offer because since we're already in a war, our alliances will not cancel, so... The only problem is, is that I lose a lot of prestige for it. Gosh dang it. France, you had to be a douche, didn't you? Uh, we, were, we, we were going so fine without you. By the way, I... Mm. Okay. Sure, why not? I guess that just gives me an excuse to fight two wars. Let's see, can, uh, do I still have some sway in some of these wars? We are not the war leader. Okay. Okay, so with that revelation and now knowing that I'm at war with France, now I need to mobilize. Now is definitely a time to mobilize. And now I need to start paying attention to all my troops. So all my troops in the colonies are now basically in danger because they're all basically very vulnerable to attacks by the, uh, I would say, menace. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a kind of slender evacuation of everywhere. Except for right here because, oh shoot, why are you guys not in land? You guys go back in land. Go this way. I didn't even realize I had troops over here still in land. Uh, you guys stay right here. Uh, let's see. Because France has more troops in this region than I do. And I know I won't be able to win this in the long run. Unless I do some clever tactics. So, what we might have to do... What I might have to basically point this down as to is I'm going to have to use clever tactics to win this. So, I'm going to go try to combine these two armies right here. Group them up and then start using them against each other. You guys go down here and start sieging more... More of this land. Uh, France is now since, an, now since they're an issue. I'm probably going to have to deal with that. Germany's probably going to crush through a lot of this pretty quickly, but then they're probably going to turn all their sites over here. Or they're going to lose this war pretty handily, and then we can just turn our sites over there. I kind of hope that the second one happens, because, honestly, weakening Germany will not be that bad. France is honestly not that big of a deal, especially when you have a powerful Germany on your, hi your hands. Okay, you guys go crush these guys, because these, these guys are going to annoy me. Okay, and then you guys go right here. Okay, now that we should have some war score against... Yeah, we have some great war... Wow, we have an awesome amount of war score. Alright, I'm going to add the war of liberate country, and we're going to add the country of Ukraine to this. This is something, and as you guys know, this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. So we're going to add that into this. And that's basically all I want to take from that war. Um... It's, and it seems like my uh, Romanian allies are basically handling it pretty effectively. Uh, Stupective, the the French are probably going to win this. <laughs> I'm probably not going to fight that too hard. Oh gosh, retreat. <laughs> retreat, do a tactical retreat. Okay, you guys go right here, go, go kill these guys. Let's see, we have 32, 32. All the men should be moved in by now, so I should know how many men are on each place. So let's see, if I put these guys right here, go group up these two soldiers, I should be able to crush these two armies right here. Basically destroy those African colonies, African soldiers right there. Um, there was a 65 death stack though, right there. But I'm pretty sure that will be weakened by the 42 German death stack, which will be nice. But still, that's going to be annoying to deal with. So, we're still going to need to group up a lot of our men. Um, the, French, the French are definitely not taking any precautions. They're definitely mobilizing and realizing, yeah, we, we ain't idiots. We know how to fight. Because if they were to actually, like, if they were to actually not mobilize, I'm pretty sure they would probably lose this. And they realize that, and so that's why they're mobilizing as quickly as possible. 
Um, oof. Germany, on the other hand, though, is just like... They're probably going to get broken up. And honestly, like I said, it isn't too bad if that happens. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.